So Yitka, obviously a positive result against uh, Iceland the other day. Uh, how are the team feeling ahead of the game against Nigeria? Uh, it, it definitely helps uh, to our to for our preparation to have this performance and this result against strong opposition as Iceland. So, and it's nice to uh, stay in the same place. We don't need to travel anywhere. We will play at the same stadium like against uh, Iceland, which is helpful for our recovery and for um, our preparation just to focus on the game that is in front of us. Yes, yeah, so we feel uh, we, we are getting ready. That's definitely where we are. We are getting ready for the game against Nigeria that is tomorrow. And Nikki, obviously you had your first burn start uh, and uh, obviously you had an assist in the game. How did it feel getting when the ball went in the net uh, for the first time off the ball that you supplied? Yeah, it's a special feeling. I think um, assisting at any level is something that I love to do, um, but to do it on the stage and for Wilkie to get the head on it and finish it like she did was really impressive. So um, it's what we practiced, so, and that was that was my job on the day, and um, it obviously worked out, and it was pretty cool to celebrate that moment with the team. Awesome. Over to you guys for questions. Hey, um, yeah, it's Phil here from, from Stuff. Um, do you have an injury update on all of Chance? Um, yeah, Liv had uh, her MRI um, yesterday, not yesterday, and we are still waiting for the results. Uh, it's holiday here in Turkey, so today we should know a little bit more uh, details about her. Um, she's not in pain, she's walking around, uh, but still we will know a little bit more when we have those results. Okay, so just confirming, she, is she in contention to is it still play um, the next game and does it look actually serious? Like, is it something that could jeopardise a World Cup when we see a knee injury often people sort of fear the worst? So we will, like how I said, we will know more uh, hopefully today when we have those results. Uh, but she's not uh, considering uh, that she's not considered to, to play uh, tomorrow. Okay, cool, thank you. Hi guys, happy Easter. Um, Michaela, just I guess on the morale in the team, it hasn't been the easiest start um, to this year before this team, but to get a goal, to get a result, you know, what does that do sort of for the confidence and, and I guess the morale within the team? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a huge booster for us and we, it was coming, we knew it was coming and we've created so many opportunities in that final third and um, it was just about putting it in the net and that obviously finally came for us and you saw it kind of in that celebration. It meant a lot for us, um, for the people on the field and the people off the field too. It was, yeah, a huge boost in, in confidence, I think, to know that we can do this and we're creating opportunities to get up there and to have shots. And I think we had that in the game and um, we know that we can keep putting more in the back of the net too. And um, Yitka, I guess not a lot of time to go before the World Cup, not a lot of games to go. What out of this next fixture do you want to see from this team? Uh, I guess was Iceland so sort of the benchmark now and, and everything from there you, you want to keep getting goals and keep getting results? Uh, yeah, we set the standards now with this with this team uh, just to be sure that this is uh, the fundamentals we want to always see on the field and it was great to actually see the, the result if we follow uh, and we focus on the uh, things that we can control and that is our performance. Uh, we can have uh, positive performances and we can have positive results and that's how we want to approach the future. We really want to just focus on things that we can control and it was great to see that uh, our focus was 100% on uh, our connection on the field, uh, on our courageousness uh, on the ball and uh, um, yeah, the connection was much, much better than let's say in February or, or, or in January. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, just one for you, um, Michaela, first of all. Obviously, you guys are playing at the same stadium, uh, on the same, pretty much the same pitch and whatnot. Does that give you a bit of a, a sense of, you know, familiarity going into, going into Nigeria? Yeah, it uh, definitely does, especially when you play so far away from home, that can kind of impact it. But to have that, like you said, familiarity with the field and we've been there, we've played there and now knowing that we can score there and get a result, that does give that little bit of confidence. Um, yeah, and it kind of 
not the same as playing at home, but it is kind of that consistentness that kind of helps and can help with performance too. And I would just add to it, it's nice to uh, really stay at the same place. Mm. Uh, we were always used to, uh, after uh, our first game, uh, to travel. And mm. this time we are uh, in nice resort in Turkey and uh, really just focusing on our preparation for our next game. And um, what have you guys made of the um, Nigerian team so far, just from you know what you have been able to see you know, what you can get, basically. Yeah, it's a different opposition than Iceland. Uh, uh, we haven't played yet uh, the African uh, team. Uh, so it's good for us to have diversity of the opposition. So when we will be at the World Cup, we will be more prepared uh, for any diff any opposition that is in front of us. So, yeah, we know that they are very athletic, they are very physical, they are very unpredictable but we will be focusing again on us. We will be focusing on our performances. We will be focusing on our fundamentals. And uh, yeah, I believe if we will be performing similar way how we perform against Iceland, uh, the positive outcome will come. Lovely, thanks guys and uh, happy Easter too. Happy Thank Easter. You. Hey guys, happy Easter. Um, yeah, can obviously one change tomorrow with Liv, but are you planning on making any other changes? Oh, well, we still have uh, in two hours, we will be, we'll have still one, uh, one training to go. After this training, we will sit down and we will make a, a plan for uh, the game against Nigeria, who is going to start. Uh, I am very happy with the performances of our players who, who uh, were playing against Iceland. So I believe uh, a huge uh, advantage can be the consistency. But again, uh, we'll see how um, everybody feels and how everybody performs during uh, this session that is in front of us. And after that, we will just review and we will make a plan uh, for the game against Nigeria. How do you weigh up the balance between you know, wanting the to win for the first time in 10 matches and the fact that this is the last match this team plays before you have to pick a squad? Again, we will be focusing always on the game that is in front of us and the game in front of us is Nigeria. How I already said, it's really good for us, for our confidence to know that uh, the game against Iceland was very solid performance from our side and even with positive outcome. So um, this is our focus. We will be uh, playing tomorrow, we still have a training to go. So day by day, game by game, uh, we still have uh, May and June uh, when we will be um, training together. It's two months uh, with the team. A lot of players will be uh, in in the in the camp uh, in Auckland. So we still have two uh, more than two months, three months to go. So. Uh, that's uh, something what we will be just focusing day, day by day. Every day is important for us and uh, every day is our preparation for our first game on the 20th of July. And Mickey, um, just in terms of set pieces, um, you know, you had, I think, six corners and, you know, one of them was a goal or another one of them, Grace, probably should have put it in the back of the net, the rest were causing chaos. You know, how much time do you put into practicing your deliveries on a weekly basis? Yeah, I guess quite a bit of time. It's something that I pride myself on is taking quality set pieces because um, I know that they can be threatening and um, with players and attackers that we have, we, I know it can be really threatening and um, can be a huge asset for this team. So, yeah, it's important to kind of practice it with both left and right foot to make sure they're both ready to go on the day. So, um, yeah, it's just something that I pride myself in and, um, just try to use it for the team as best I can. Whenever I look at young midfielders, I always think they could be, you know, getting that as a string in their bow as they're trying to sort of look to pro football. Is it something you sort of decided on when you were young <laughs> that you wanted to become good with them? With set pieces? Um, okay. Yeah, I think so. I think I kind of just got chucked on taking corners and then I kind of got stuck there a little bit and just the practice kind of came with it and enjoyed whipping them in from both sides and um, even trying to score from both sides kind of straight from the corner became kind of a thing that I enjoyed doing. So, um, 
yeah, so I just wherever wherever the team needs me, I've kind of just I do my best there, whatever it, whatever that looks like. And I have to say, it's very impressive how consistent Mickey is uh, during our trainings, during our games, just to see that she's comfortable with left, with her right. Uh, that is uh, that is that is pretty good for our team to have this weapon uh, in our pocket. And you could just lastly just to confirm, um, Liv is walking around. She's not on crutches. No, um, she's she's walking around. Yeah. She's not in pain. So again, right. we'll, we'll we'll we will be knowing more when we know the results. Okay, right, cool. thanks, guys. Thank you. Just um, one more from me. Um, Yikid, there's a tomorrow is quite a big milestone for the World Cup. 100 uh, days to go. I guess, how do you look at you know an, a, an occasion like that and does it feel like the time's getting shorter and shorter for you guys to get it right and for you to find your best uh, Uh How I said, we are really focusing every day. What can we do to be more prepared as a team, as a individual players? Uh, we said after February, every day is important for us. Every day matters. So um, we really are focusing on our prep. Uh, with more details. We know we don't have so many days, it's 100 days to go, but it's still enough time to be prepared and to be ready. And we could see how much we've done, uh, let's say since February when we had our last game. Uh, you could see the differences in our performance uh, in, uh, um, in Turkey here against Iceland. So that's how we want to approach it. Um, and it's good to see that it's actually working out and um, that's, that's the future in our team, just to take it day by day and there is still 100 days to, do, mm -hmm. to go, so we can still make a difference. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Yika, with that 100 day milestone, do you get anxious when there are injuries like the one with Liv? I mean, we saw with the US with Mallory Swanson, looks like she might be out of the World Cup. Um, I guess now any sort of injury, you know, could rule a player out of the tournament. That's the biggest challenge that this team is facing. Uh, we had uh, uh, two major injuries uh, since April uh, last year, when Ria Percival uh, torn her ACL. Uh, Anali Longo had w w is in the similar situation. Uh, so it's not not easy for us to to face those challenges. Those are things that actually we can't really control. Uh, we can't prevent uh, those injuries are part of the game. Uh, but it's great to see uh, those two players who faced this challenge, that they are working so hard to actually m make the comeback. And uh, yeah. I, I am the coach who always uh, is looking for what can we do to prevent those, those situations. But in, specifically in women's football, that's part of the game. It's, uh, it's a lot of those kind of injuries. We could see it on uh, Mallory Swanson uh, in the game against Ireland. And uh, nobody wants it. Nobody uh, <laughs> wants to see those moments. It, it's not fun is not great for the game, for the player, for the team, but it's part of the game and we have to really uh, look how to face those those challenges. So, and I'm glad that our team is facing it very positive way. Uh, everybody wants uh, our injured players back and they are doing everything uh, to be back with the team. Was Mallory someone you coached when you were in the US? Was, was there any crossover yeah. there? Yeah, she was with the under-20 team uh, when I was well, part of the U.S. soccer. Yeah, okay. Um, and in terms of Nigeria's biggest threat, I've um, been trying to get the pronunciation of this right, but I think it's Aziza Oshuala, um, plays for Barcelona, which is you know one of the best teams in the world. Um, you know, maybe for you, Michaela, as a defensive player, um, how do you go about uh, you know, trying to stop a, a player like that who seems to be at the, the top of the game? Yeah, well, I, this is kind of why we're here. We we play for these moments to verse the best in the world, and um, even just playing Iceland, I, I was up against one of their best players, and I learnt learnt a lot from it, and have a lot to learn. Continue to um, keep growing as a player, but um, we always go into a game 
feeling prepared and um, I felt prepared against Iceland and knew my job, what to do against a good player like that. So um, I have no doubt myself and everyone else who steps out on that field will, will know what to do when they come up against a good player. But we're also full of good players as a team. So I think um, we need to kind of focus on us as well and how we want to play and take that into consideration that, yeah, they have some good players, but also we can we can do our own thing too. Yeah, it was something, um, this is one of you, Yitka, we asked um, Michaela about um, at Phoenix Media a few weeks ago when um, you had first spoken to her when she was at San Diego and you picked that squad. They had a lot of US college players in it. How much growth have you seen in her game from, I guess, having those conversations and, and not quite being ready for selection to, to now where you're giving her a, a starting debut? It's credible how uh, the player, uh, Nikki's caliber, can grow quickly. I think it's all about uh, hard work, it's all about training, it's uh, all about uh, having a goal and, and, and reaching the goal, and that's what uh, uh, Michaela had uh, in her vision, and, and uh, her hard work is paying off. And uh, it's good, uh, she's a good role model for everybody who is playing football, how quickly um, the player can, can develop and improve. If the, the if the work is uh, is done, so yeah, I'm very happy how quickly Michaela uh, developed and she had her first start uh, against Iceland and she showed like she's not uh, the one who would be afraid to play against anybody. So um, yeah, I, I I'm very happy uh, to see where she is right now. Awesome, cool. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Thank you. Two quick ones, if I can. Um, you can first of all, May 1, the first day you're in camp in Auckland? May 1st. Or what day? What day do you start? May 1st. Yeah. And do you have a date for when the squad will be selected yet? So, we again, we, will, we haven't set the date. Uh, we will uh, see after those two months... Uh, spending more time together i believe it will be more and more clear uh who um is going to be part of the roster for the world cup but we have not set the date yet um and mickey just lastly um what are your plans after this window obviously probably a bit of a break first of all um but are you just coming straight into camp in auckland or are you sort of going to australian state leagues or have you had interest from any further abroad or what are yeah, you doing so Take a, take a couple of weeks break to kind of reset, reset the mind and the body, and then you no know, straight into camp May 1st. So I'm looking forward to that, to be a part of that May, June um, up in Auckland and to just continue to show the coaches what I'm, why I'm here and what I can do. And um, no, it's a great opportunity to be together as a team for a long, pronounced period, especially building up to such an important and huge event for, for us and for the country too. No, cool. Thanks, guys. Any further questions? Cool, in that case we will leave it there. Uh, thank you very much uh, Yitka, thank you very much Mickey. Thank you.